Welcome to a new video of the most interesting channel about writing instruments. Today we're talking about another interesting subject because we're here today with Count Charles Alexander von Faber Castell here in Stein. This is near Nuremberg in the castle of Faber Castell. Um, thank you so much for having us. Uh, thank you, thank you for the lovely tour through the castle and the, and the manufacturing of the pencils. But we will mainly talk about the fountain pens and the luxury writing instruments. Uh, first of all, your account. How is it to be a count? Because I think this is the first time for me to talk with a count. <laughs> well, I don't know. Interesting question because, you know, you don't really think about it that much. Yeah, true. Uh, I think, you know, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't put that much uh, value on sort of, or at least I don't, you know, just on the, the title it's, itself. I think, if anything, it's, it's uh, uh, the most important thing is that, you know, as a family or coming from a tra traditional family is mm -hmm. preserving certain traditions and, and, and things and I think you you may have a certain ex expectation that people have uh, but I think it's good to see things in sort of a more easygoing mm -hmm. manner but the most important thing is you know uh, having the right values and the right tra traditions that you mm -hmm. preserve. Does it have any extra obligations or something with it that you are account or? Well, I think, you know, in, in, in the one sense, like I said, you have a certain expectation of people, and particularly mm -hmm. coming from a family where, where, where the name, name is uh, sort of synonymous uh, uh, with that. Uh, you do have a, a certain responsibility. I think I tried to separate it from, from just the fact of being a count, but, mm -hmm. you know, having a family with, with these sort of traditions, I feel a, an obligation to uh, set these things forth and you know, um, to maintain that and give certain values that were passed on to me mm -hmm. uh, on to the next generation, hopefully. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're here in the castle, beautiful castle. Uh, you do not live here. What is actually the purpose right now for the castle? And uh, since when did people live here? Well, so this part of the castle, you have, you have two different parts of the castle and, and the, the much more spectacular part of the castle, the, the so-called new castle as we refer to it, uh, was built uh, by my great-grandfather, my great-grandmother uh, from 1903 to 1906. Um, and the family lived in the castle up until uh, the Second World War mm -hmm. and then they moved out to the countryside, the mm -hmm. country home. So nobody has been really living in this part of the castle since then. Mm -hmm. uh, they never uh, moved back and over a long period, you know, it's with, with most houses, when you, when you don't live with them and don't use them, uh, they, they, they tend to be run down and you have issues. So there was a long period where it was sort of uh, in a dormant state, and, uh, which wasn't good. And then my father, when, when you know, he took over and took over the castle, he spent a lot of time, I would say, blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. And also, it was a big financial obligation over many, many years restoring it to the state that it is today. Mm -hmm. So I think we can be grateful for that. And, it's um, beautiful. Uh, we use it mainly, you know, as, as you know, our, our production facilities are, are adjacent, our headquarters are adjacent. So it's used very much for, fa for, for company events. Um, a lot of the, you know, when we have our international uh, managers and, and, and big company mm -hmm. events, uh, we always usually have uh, certain meetings and things in the castle and then for certain uh, family events as well. It's more like a symbolic use. Yeah, more like a symbolic use, and mm -hmm. you know, it's become so synonymous with the brand yes, too. So a lot of people know uh, Faber-Castell. It's, it's integrated in, in, in the logo in, in, in many cases, so mm -hmm. uh, it's known for that. So yeah, no, we're, very, we're very happy that it is in the state that it is, and that we're able to, to use it uh, mm -hmm. for... Definitely, no, it's beautiful. Um, you are now the ninth generation of the of the family business. Yeah. Uh, your father he passed away unfortunately yeah. three years ago. What was uh, something that you uh, admire from him? Uh, what did you learn from him? Um, As in a, in, in a person. I think some, uh, you know, going back to what I was saying before, you know, uh, certain values mm -hmm. uh, that he had in terms of. He, he, was, he was a very patient person, he was not impulsive, 
he had a tendency when, you know, asked, sometimes not very decisive, he was sort of more the person who said, let me sleep over it before I decide. But when he would make a decision, he was very uh, committed to it. So, and I think that also reflected in the strategy that he took for the company, that he pursued over, over many years. So, you know, not just saying, okay, this doesn't work, we need to go back to this and that. He, he was very consistent. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, a, a certain value that resonated very well with the, with the strategy of the company. In terms of his personal values, I think that he had a very sort of down-to-earth mentality and, you know, this is something that uh, is important to me and, you know, certain values that also I would like to pass on to my children, you know. Mm -hmm. People have a certain expectation of you being a count, but at the end of the day, what matters is you know, mm -hmm. how you are with a person and, mm -hmm. and how you deal with uh, other people, you know. And he was somebody that could really, you know, was a real gentleman and, and, and treated everyone equally, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that's, that's very important. Yeah. Um, you're, uh, uh, you're now since five years with, uh, with the company, Yes. Right? Uh, uh, was it always your, your dream to, uh, to continue the business, to step into the business, or did you want to do something else, I don't know, to become a fireman or something, I don't know. Well, when I was very young, I wanted, I wanted to be a, a fighter pilot, so okay. that, that never worked out. <laughs> but when, uh, you know, when you're 18 years old, I think you have other things in your mind yeah, than, sure. than, than working in a, in a pencil factory. Mm -hmm. so that, was, that was never really something that I thought about. And I think my, my father also, you know, didn't say, look, you know, you're the one. He basically said, you know, I have four children, and, and it's really the company's gotten to a size where it's, where it's also about... Um, Performance and mm -hmm. meritocracy, and that you really, uh, you know, to, to, to be in, uh, you know, to work in the family business, mm -hmm. um, you have to prove yourself. So we kind of we grew up with with that mentality for one, and it was also uh, important to me to be ind independent. So you know, I didn't uh, subscribe to the idea of immediately joining the family business, but was doing my own thing, working on my own, and then. Over time, uh, you know, after I gained certain experience or so, I had discussions with my father and then it manifested itself. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Fabrik is one of the oldest brands uh, in writing instruments. Um, how do you change to the rapidly, rapidly changing world uh, to still become relevant? Relevant, okay. Yeah. You know, it's... It's certainly a challenge, particularly in our day and age where things are evolving very quickly, you know, and you have constantly new technologies. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you look at you know, some of the big technology companies in the past 10, 15 years, first it was Nokia, then Blackberry, mm -hmm. you know, Apple, and, you know, they all, and, and then all of the, the different possibilities with apps and everything. So everything seems to be moving at an incredible pace. Um, I think it's, 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 it's a balance of, of one, being aware of, of certain trends mm -hmm. and opportunities, uh, but on the same time, sticking true to what you are, you know, and, and really focusing on, on what you're good at. And I think the challenge is really finding that balance. And um, that's, that's really what we're emphasizing. So really stick to the heritage. That's yeah, stick the to the heritage and, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, stick to what you're, you're best at too. Mm -hmm. Stick, focus on your, on, on, on your competencies, you know, and don't get carried away with things that you're, you don't have the competence at. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is certainly a challenge, you know, but that's like in, in any business, you know, it's, it's, it's never good. easy. So. <laughs> Challenges are always good. Yeah. Um, uh, from uh, origin, Fabric Cells are, is, a, is a pencil factory. Nowadays, you also have uh, fountain pens, ballpoint pens. What kind of a guy are you? What do you like to write with? What type um, of writing type? That's a good question. You know, I for me, uh, I like I like writing with a variety. I'm I'm not mm -hmm. just with fountain pen. Sometimes I'll, I'll write with ballpoint or, or rollerball. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I very much enjoy writing with, with a pencil, particularly mm -hmm. the perfect pencil. Yeah, for uh, sure. So I, I enjoy the variety of it. You know? mm -hmm. I think it depends on what I'm writing. I, I think it's, uh, you know, if I'm taking notes, uh, then, you know, maybe more uh, uh, a rollerball. If I'm, if I'm writing sort of a card, mm -hmm. uh, a thank you card or something, 
then then usually more fountain pen. What is it that you uh, that you like about fountain pens? If you're writing with a fountain pen, I think it's 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 really sort of the the feeling and and you know it it's also a part of slowing down. It goes back to what I was saying. Everything is moving so quickly, and we're mm -hmm. on our phones the whole time, and writing WhatsApp, and you know you feel. You feel this immediate need to respond to something. You, know, you get a message on, on WhatsApp. You mm -hmm. see, you know, people yeah, see you so that you've read it. You have to respond immediately. Yeah. So the idea of writing with a fountain pen is just sort of like uh, completely slowing down again. You know, mm -hmm. taking the time, choosing a fountain pen, filling so it up, and the experience of it. Like and I think that's also something that is appreciated more and more mm -hmm. by people. That people see, you know, when you when you write with a fountain pen. Um, you, you also choose a different color ink. Maybe you have an individual yeah. color ink. Yeah. So it's a for one. It's what's, your, it's, what's your individual color of ink? I have I have a few different ones that I like, mm -hmm. um, and it's a, it's a good question because to be honest with you, when I started working in, in, in the business, I I didn't really appreciate the meaning or the understanding of having such a variety, broad variety of ink colors, mm -hmm. because I thought to myself, everybody writes with black or blue ink, mm -hmm. you know. Who needs a pink or green or whatever? Mm -hmm. But you know, to my surprise, and talking to a lot of visiting a lot of our, our customers, um, that's exactly what people want, particularly when writing with a fountain pen. And it really uh, makes this whole experience uh, much more individual, mm -hmm. you know. And I think for me, I like I like uh, we have, and based on that, I expanded a lot of the colors. We have 18 different mm -hmm. colors now, and we've really focused on 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 making the most high quality inks. And, and, and unique colors. And, um, you know, I like uh, the stone gray. Stone gray is a very yeah, nice color. color. Yeah. Or, or the moss green, mm -hmm. you know, that obviously has a little color. bit of an identity with our, with our, <laughs> with our, our, our house colors, if you mm -hmm. will. Uh, and then sometimes with, with blue. But those are sort of my, my two, two, three favorites. Yeah. I forgot something at the, at the beginning of the interview because normally we always do a pen check at the beginning. Okay. So I will just do it now. Um, what pen do you carry with you today? And of course, which color of ink is inside your pen? Well, I have to unfortunately say I don't have a pen with me, <laughs> but I do have the perfect pencil. Okay. So wow. I guess I can, I'm, I can get away with that. Yeah, sure. Uh, but like I said, um, you know, if it's not fountain pen, I enjoy writing with, with, with the perfect pencil. Mm -hmm. uh, it's which beautiful. is really the birth product of our yes. brand, Graf and Faber Castell. This yes. is what it started with. Mm -hmm. And it was the idea of my father to come up with a, a high-end, the most exclusive and best pencil mm -hmm. in the world, sort of to celebrate. This is the Magnum edition, right? This is the Magnum edition, yeah. yeah. And so it's, it's, you know, as you know, it's uh, the highest, highest quality wood. Mm -hmm. This is the Magnum format, so it has a, the large lead. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's a 4B, so particularly a somewhat softer lead. And it's just beautiful writing with it, you know? And I think everybody that I show it to or that, that takes it in their hands and writes mm -hmm. with it, it has something nostalgic for them. Yeah, because, for sure. you know, it's, it's, again, this analog experience and and not only the writing with it, but you know how it changes when you write with a pencil. Then you know you got to sharpen it again. It's, mm -hmm. it's thicker, and just the the way it lays down. So I think there's a lot of things with these sort of analog products, whether it's a fountain pen or or a perfect pencil, um, that you cannot replicate with any sort of electronic device. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a there's a certain haptic or feeling and experience that you can't replicate. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what a lot of people appreciated about these sort of products. For sure. Um, we're talking about the perfect pencil. Uh, there was a question from social media from our Instagram followers. That uh, question was, uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the iconic uh, top of all the pens of Graf and Faber Castell? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's for us, it's been, you know, that we've been strongly emphasizing design, you mm -hmm. know, and, and not focusing on, on all sorts of different themes, but really, um, you know, emphasizing the idea that we have sort of a recognizability of our products. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one, one quote is maybe if you look at like an oak tree, for example, you know, an oak tree 
has many leaves, and each leaf is maybe slightly different. Mm -hmm. But if you take the, each leaf, you can recognize the oak tree and say, this is an oak tree from the leaf. And this is also sort of a little bit our philosophy in terms of the design, that you always have certain features that you can recognize the brand, whether it's, uh, you know, the, the fluting, the channeling on, on the wood, mm -hmm. um, the massive uh, double sprung clip that mm -hmm. we have, um, or, or the crown. Mm -hmm. And these are elements that we try to uh, always incorporate and reinterpret in, 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 in different products. So, and also, of course, the, the high polished uh, surfaces uh, that we have. And, and really recognize use, use, use of, of natural materials, yeah. you know, trying to use different natural materials. It's also something that we carry over to different products, you know. If you look at our desk accessories, you can see similarities from, from design, you know, mm -hmm. in this product. Or, or the natural materials. If you see the elephants, you know, mm -hmm. at the distance, you look at them, but if you take the elephants and you feel sort of this really the finest it. quality natural grain leather, mm -hmm. you know, together with the felt, it just has something special. And this mm -hmm. is something that we, we put a lot of emphasis on. Mm -hmm. Really important. Um, we met before in Spa yeah. with, the, with the launch of the, of the graphic fabric stuff for, for Bentley yeah. pens. Beautiful pens. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about that uh, corporation? How did that uh, start? Well, it was interesting because a, a friend of mine, he's, <clears throat> he's, a, he's very active in this, sort of this whole uh, sphere of historic motorsports. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I had dinner with him once and he was telling me, well, you know, you have to look into this event this past six hours mm -hmm. because this is sort of a, a really a unique event uh, amongst the... Uh, these sort of uh, motorists or the enthusiasts that go there because it's one of the only events where they really drive, they drive six hours and these are all cars that are pre-1966 well, so that's a real test of, of the machine, of the quality mm -hmm. and, and the driver as well you know, yeah, it's a very tiring thing to be driving in an old, air, in a, in an old uh, uh, automobile compared mm -hmm. to you know, the, the modern ones and the other thing that, that really struck me as, as fascinating was also that it sort of transports you back to a different time. Mm -hmm. I think you noticed this, you were at the event, yeah, and nice. you go there and you experience, it's one thing to see these, these beautiful cars in a museum, mm -hmm. but see them being driven at, at, at night and, you know, the, the, the whole aura, the, the smell and everything, mm -hmm. you know, it's, just, it's such a unique, it, and really it, it transcends you back. To a, to a different time almost. It takes you back in time a little bit and it's a little bit of a escape from, from this, this, this digital and, and, and the world that we have. Mm -hmm. And that for me was a little bit of a parallel to, to what we do and what I was talking about before mm -hmm. is you know, writing with a fountain pen or you know, with a pencil or so. It's kind of like kind of stepping back from all that mm -hmm. and, and going back uh, to a different time. And I think it's it's becoming uh, more and more desired for people to experience those sort of things, mm -hmm. to slow down, you know? And it's not only, you know, whether it's motorsports or this, or, you know, it's the same thing with in, in, in the food area, I think, too. People, people really want quality and um, they want to appreciate things, you know? They want to... It's, it's about slow food today and not just about, you know, 15 years ago everything was about fast food, now it's about mm -hmm. slow food and really, uh, you know, the, so the ingredients. So, kind of slowing down and mm -hmm. that's decelerating. Well, decelerating <laughs> while <laughs> accelerating, I think, when it comes to the, to the racing part. But that, those were sort of the elements that, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that struck me. And I found How do you see the future of, of riding? Um, I think it depends on, on which categories you're, you're referring to with writing because I think in many cases, you know, it's, it, it has prevailed that, you know, the, you have more and more the paperless office, mm -hmm. uh, people are not uh, walking around with, with, with the giant, um, what do you call them, briefcases with all the paper, you know, they have a lot of things on their iPads too. Um, so. Certain things people don't write as much, but you know, it's almost like, like a nice watch. You know? To write something down, you don't need a beautiful pen like this. Mm -hmm. You write with a beautiful pen like this because you appreciate it. 
you know, because you 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 you, it's you more want like to, a jeweler. You, you appreciate it yourself, or you want to show sort of a certain degree of appreciation, mm -hmm. or it's a gift. You know, mm -hmm. it's something that people want to use uh, as 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 a gift for someone else. So, I think you have to you have to distinguish between sort of like the whole commodity part of of of, of, of writing mm -hmm. uh, versus sort of high end uh, writing. And I and I do believe, you know that there is uh, potential and opportunities in, in high-end writing because I think people are beginning, particularly this generation, you know, the, the millennials, mm. appreciate these sort of things, you know, they appreciate going back to the roots. So I think there's, I think there's opportunities and I think there's growth in, in many different markets, particularly also in the Asian markets, mm -hmm. um, and an overall appreciation for quality and high-end high -end products. Yeah. I, uh, I see that as well. Um, talking about the future, is there something that you want to share with us about new products from Graph or Fabricacel coming up? Well, we have, we have some uh, exciting uh, products in, in the pipeline. I'm not sure what everything you're, you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. I always have to be careful what I say because then I have my <laughs> marketing people say, you weren't supposed <laughs> to say that yet. Um, but, you know, I think you'll see us continue to develop uh, on the things that we've done, mm -hmm. and, um, you of know, course, the, the, latest, years, the latest Bentley edition. The the, the Bentley edition, exactly. Yes. We've done the Bentley collaboration, which we started last year, mm -hmm. which has been a success and uh, a really, uh, you know, a good, uh, how should I say, synergy between two brands in terms mm -hmm. of the design and the values, and and has been well appreciated. Now we're launching the, the Bentley Collection Two. Mm -hmm. which are, are very beautiful products and is also a bit of a departure from, from our usual design, you know, and I think that's also important to offer something different, something new, mm -hmm. which we're, we're emphasizing, but it was also sort of a door for us to say, okay, look, let's incorporate some really the Bentley items and, and, and have certain items for us. And I think we've done a, a, an excellent job at, at, at that because the people that know our brand still recognize the Graf and Faber Castell elements, but you know the Bentley it's a person mix. Uh, recognizes uh, the the features from the Bentley automobiles, mm -hmm. and, and it's a really really fantastic, a beautiful pen. Mm -hmm. And then we also did the black editions to uh, commemorate the hundred years uh, for Bentley. Uh, they just that's came something out, that they? just just mm -hmm. launched. Yeah, we've been we've been emphasizing it's something that I've really put a lot of emphasis on with these black editions because mm -hmm. it, it's a really nice max masculine. Touch and you also see it in, 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 in watches and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's 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 quite popular. So um, we've we've done that. And then in terms of leather, we have some nice new products there. Mm -hmm. We have quite a strong competence with leather since we've been doing it now for 25 years. And you know, I think the thing is with with a lot of our products, we're not we're not focused on on launching uh, a huge broad array of products, but really focusing on the details mm -hmm. and 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 and. and and the highest, best quality, you know, whether it's leather, writing instruments, um, and, and, and the best products. And of course, the pen of the year, the new, the Samurai, which we had this year, it was a great uh, success. Was, was very well received yeah. uh, and uh, very exciting. And the new one, which I can't announce. Uh, we will talk about yet. that uh, after <laughs> the will, camera. Will, so. will, will be coming soon, too. <laughs> so that will be a very exciting topic, which we're, we're excited, or we're very excited to launch then. I'm really interesting about that one. Uh, is there anything else that you want to share with us? Yes, I do have one last thing. So, a little unboxing. It's beautiful. And the wooden gift box. Nice, the nice wooden box, which you can... is also a nice desk accessory in terms of putting... putting uh, it's really nice. I really somewhere. like it. And uh, one of my favorites, uh, the Perfect Pencil Black Edition, which we launched, launched uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned before, it's the, the highest quality pencil with a soft lead, a 4B lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, the special thing about it is that you have the integrated replaceable eraser. Really cool. And... But I think and, uh, you don't need extender. it if you, if you don't make any mistakes. You don't need <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I need it a lot. Okay. <laughs> and then you have the sharpener, built-in sharpener, well. which is also uh, replaceable. Mm -hmm. 
To be honest with you, uh, you don't have to replace it that often because the sharpener is really Quality lasts so long. Yes. Okay. I shouldn't be saying this because yeah. it's not a good <laughs> sales pitch, but I'm being very honest. Uh, and you know, in our typical design, and it works as an extender like that. It's beautiful. And that's really our iconic product, and you know, something very unique to Graf and Faber Castell, mm -hmm. and uh, absolutely one of my favorites, particularly the black edition with the black pencil. So. Thank you so much. We're going to give away this to one of our viewers. Fantastic. If you want to win this, subscribe to our channel and also subscribe to the channel of Graf and Faber Castell. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think of the brand Graf and Faber Castell and also what you think of this perfect pencil. And then we will announce the winner in two days after this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having us here today, for the beautiful tour in the castle, for this beautiful perfect pencil as a giveaway. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Wonderful, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you for coming. <laughs>